All right, so I've had this video in mind for a while. I've just been putting it off, but I thought maybe I'd do just a short little video showing off the dolls that I've done face up for myself. So I have plenty of dolls, you know, I have some that I bought with face up, but then there are others that I bought with the intention of doing the face for them. So with him, I did blush his hands and I had bought him because I thought he was so, such a lovely sculpt. I had a different character in mind for him, but I wasn't sure if it would work. Um, I was afraid maybe he'd look a little too young, a little too childlike, but perhaps with makeup, I could make him look a little more mature. Let's focus. But my first assumption was right, and I think he still looks quite young even with makeup. So, I'm trying to figure out a new personality for him since he's not going to be the character I had in mind. But this is a short little wig I got for him. And this is the face up I did for him. You know, I did a lot of contouring as you can see. Uh, I think some of that might be from the wig. <laughs> I'm not sure, but as you can see, I tried, hmm, I might have to redo his face up because it looks like there's, I didn't notice, I never noticed but before, but I can see in the camera but th that there's like scratches here. He didn't have that before. <laughs> um, but you know what, I was having some issues because I was at the end of a can of Mr. Super Clear, and I'm sure other people have realized that when you're at the end of the can and you're trying to use up the last bit because you don't want to waste it, it doesn't work quite as well. So I'll, I'll probably just I'll have to end up redoing his face. But if you ignore the scratches, imagine how it was like before the scratches. You know, you could see where I tried to contour his face to make him look older. I really like how his eyebrows turned out. His eyelashes were a little bit longer. These were different eyelashes that I tried. They come in little tiny individual pieces. And I was like, well, that'll make it easier putting on him. But you can see they really kink. So I'm not a fan of them. I always use human lashes. These are the first ones I tried using a different brand, a cheaper brand. Don't like how that turned out. But not bad. You know, I'll obviously have to redo it now. But, that, you know, that turned out pretty well. But this is him with the wig I got for him. You know, I'm still trying to figure out how to work out the wig, how to style it properly. But, you know, you don't see, you know, you don't see any of those scratches through the ceiling with his wig on. So, you know, it's all good works out. I still might redo his face though. I like it, but at the same time, I know I could do better. Maybe once I figure out his personality more, maybe then I'll redo his face. All right, so a little update. After I recorded that last bit about the face up, I wiped it off and did it all over again. I used rubbing alcohol to, with a super clean sponge, those little sponges the dolls all come with. Um, I used rubbing alcohol with it, and it, the rubbing alcohol ate away at a whole corner of the sponge. But I mean, it did the job. I mean, they, and ignore the eye. I have to fix it. I fixed it like three times. The one on our right, his left eye, it keeps drooping out of place. And there's, it has much more goop 
behind that eye than the other one. I guess it must be dragging it down or something, but you know, it keeps slipping out of place. But anyway, so this is his new face up. Much better than the last one. All done by me. Up next is my resin Sol Yun. Yun on the, uh, I believe that was a 60 centimeter body. So I did, I had the intention of putting lots of tattoos on her. So this is the face up I chose. This is the face up I did with the eyes I chose. I did lots of freckling all over her face. I gave her like warmth to her skin, like lots of warm colors, some gold shimmer on her eyes, those lips. I, you know, all the tattoos are hand drawn. There's those. And there's that. Let's see. There's that one on her ear. A star. And then a moon. Crescent moon on that ear. Let's see, all her, her hands got these little tattoos. I drew on myself. I looked up examples of tattoos. That's her, uh, her nail polish I did. Yep, that goes all the way around the finger. That tattoo. There's this one. Very similar. Except this one has those little dots. This one has a gold lip band. The nail polish. And her toenails are done too and matching nail polish. Now it's not really nail polish, it's acrylic paint. But you know, it's her nail polish. Right. Next up is my Centaur Dawn. So I bought her with her company makeup and added just some little bits to it. Like for example, I added more color to her lips, a little bit more warmth to her cheeks, and lots of glitter. Hi, what do you think about those eyes? I think they're really nice. So I really made her face shimmery. I added blushing to her ears with glitter. Same with her hands. They each got some blushing and lots of glitter. Did I do the inside? I did. Now she is very, you know, tipsy, so I don't want to rock her too much. And then the fur and the hooves all got some blushing and color to it and her tail her tail I put a lot of color and shimmer to I really wanted to make her look mystical you know she's a centaur that's the only shirt I have for her at the moment for her to wear because I don't really have anything else at the moment that fits her Now for my Digidolls Ponta, or I guess technically Rena, because she's the Rena sculpt. I wanted to keep her face very subtle and pink. I just wanted to run with the pink look. So she has little blushing on her cheeks, nose, or her mouth. I guess technically that's a tongue, but it always kind of looked to me like a pouty lip. So that was my intention. 
pink eyebrows, a little bit of pink around the eyes, lots of shimmer. You can tell I love shimmer. And then that's basically it. I did add extra magnets to the ears, the tail, and the wrists. You can tell the wrists when they get an extra magnet. They don't quite sit on, but it holds so much better. See, it doesn't hold too well. But see, might as well as before magnets, so it holds on much better now. I put on a lot of hot glue. On my very first time hot glue suading someone. I put some like on her arms and I think her elbows. And I put a lot around her waist. So now she sits a lot better. Does that mean she doesn't kick around? No. She still kicks around a lot. And her back, right now it's on the lip, but quite often it will actually go over the lip and her torso will really kind of like do a complete flip. She does that quite often, but it's better with the glue. Not perfect, but it's better. It's much better. What do you think? I went with just these like dark pink for her eyes. I think our eyelashes turned out really well. What do you think? That top is a one-third doll's top shirt. I just took a ribbon, put around it, and now it's a dress. Because that's you know, that and like an MSD dress. The only things I have there for her. The only things. Last but certainly not least is my little elf girl here. Now I did a lot of blushing. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. Hold on a second. There we go. I switched to a, a little bit different light. It's not as harsh. Now she has... A lot of freckling all over her. I put freckling on her hands. It's a little bit glitter there too. Blushing. Now for the blushing, I used a combination of like pink and orange, like and beige. She has it on both hands. The freckles and the color. She certainly has it on her feet too. Let me turn her around. See. There we go. You can sort of see the freckling. It's subtle, but the camera still picks up a little bit. Again, with the little blushing. And then her face. Let me take off the... So this is what she looks like with the wig I have for her. Let me take it off. Now the wig cap... The wig came off with her head cap inside, but you know what? Wigs can be very difficult, so I'm going to leave it like that. Now, I blushed her ears and her face. Now, I always... Let me put her down. With my face up, I always use blue. Well, except for, like, on my Digi Dolls, I stuck to pink. I always like to do con pink contour, so in the middle of her eyes and her temples, a little bit around her nose, you'll see... Maybe you can't, but I put a lot of blue there, light, some light blue to give her contrast, you know, real more of a realistic look there, and lots of some cool tone purple towards the middle of her ear, and then the edges, the warm pink, and her forehead and her whole face has a mixture of the very light beige with pink. I used very little at the time and just kept, you know, over many seals a ceiling with mr super clear many layers i got to this and i used lots of pencil marking and a few different brown colors a few different layers i did all the freckles the eyebrows i i kept her i wanted to keep her a youthful look so i stuck with a very light pink for her eyes but i certainly gave her a little bit of pink for her lips some line definition and gloss and of course you can see the shimmer I have put on her face and I had a few different eyes for her like I even had this like light shimmery blue but I ended up really liking this hazel on her I thought it looked fantastic and what I'm really happy about which I was hoping 
with her being a 1-6 scale as she fits curvy Barbie clothing. She even, I have a Blythe outfit that I think she even fits in. But this is a curvy Barbie Hello Kitty dress. And she fits in some of the other Hello Kitty, Barbie Hello Kitty outfits too. I had originally planned on getting a blonde wig for her. But until then, this is the only wig I had that really fit her. And I think it quite suits her. Thank <laughs> you.